All right, what is up everybody? This is Darth Koopa. Um, had a couple of requests to show you guys how to add a custom lightsaber font to your lightsaber with the Crystal Focus 10 soundboard. So first things first, the things that you need uh, to do this. Number one, a computer. Uh, number two, your lightsaber outfitted with Crystal Focus 10. And then a micro USB card reader. Um, I got this off Amazon for like 10 bucks. You can have USB or micro USB and it's just gotta have these little ports so you can stick the micro USB in there. So I'll show you that in a second. So the first thing I like to do is take the card out of the saber, I'll show you how to do that. Take your lightsaber with Crystal Focus 10, undo the back end here, take the chassis out. Your um, micro USB flash drive is right in here. You just kind of have to poke it and it comes out. And I use tweezers to pull it out because it's really small. Pull it out like so. Okay, I'll set that down, move the saber to the side. And if you already know all this, you can skip ahead, but this is just the basics. Take your little drive, stick it inside of your drive reader. Cool. And then plug that sucker into your computer. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in on the computer here. You can see what's going on, or I hope as much as possible. So I'm gonna minimize the internet here. And now that that's plugged in, you can see right here, my Saber Trio Saber sound font files are pulled up. And then inside of it, you can see all of my different sound fonts that are loaded. So we're going to add a new sound font to the Saber, it's Darth Vader. A new Darth Vader font came out and I love Lord Vader being a Sith myself. So here we are on Saber font, it's font by fonts by fours, the classic villain. So what I'm going to do is just add this to the cart. And then I'm going to check out. Okay, so I've bought the sound font. Click here to download. And then here is the zip Dropbox form. You wanna press download up here, direct download. And you can see it's downloading down here now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this to the side, wait for this to finish downloading, open it up. You can see that they've given you the Profi and the CFX versions. So I don't know how to do this on Profi all the way. I just know how to do it on CFX. But what I do is just grab the folder, bring it to my desktop, get rid of all that, Open it back up, go to CFX. Okay, so I pulled CFX folder to my desktop. Now, get rid of this and open up your Sabres sound font file here via the SD card. Open it up. Here it is, all the fonts. And then I'm gonna open this again and I'm gonna grab the font folder, and I'm gonna drag it up to the Saber Trio disk. You can see it shows up right down here. Now I'm gonna zoom in, because this is where we've gotta be able to see the details. Okay, so the classic villain, the new font, right here. 
first thing I need to do is label this so that it matches the ones up here. So you can see they're numbered. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a number. And for simplicity of the video, I'm just gonna add it to the very end. So Luke Skywalker is 17, this is going to be 18. And I've gotta put a little dash next to it with no spaces. And then I can just hit enter and it will reorganize itself back up in with the other fonts. So that's that part's good to go. Now, if you go through the font folder, you gotta make sure of a couple of things. So this is a Darth dark side font, and the idea is you wanna mimic another dark side font on a couple of things. The font config file, and the leds.txt file. So I'm gonna to go to Dooku, or actually I'll just go to my other Vader font, and then find the font config file for the other Vader font. You can see the start blade is zero, and the color is six, and I've already got all this tricked out. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the classic villain, the new font, I'm gonna just get rid of the one that it came with. Bye. And I'm gonna get rid of the leds.txt file. Because these folders that come with the fonts aren't coded the right way. Um, or so I I've found. So I'll come back up to Vader the other Vader font that I have. Font config files here. And I'm going to copy this. Where's copy? Copy. Come back down to the classic villain font. Paste item into the new Vader folder. And here's font config, the new one. And I can see that it's got the right numbers. And I can go into the, that in depth a little later. Um, but we need a font config file in there with the right coding and an leds.txt file with the right coding. So we go back to the other Vader font file, find the leds.txt, copy this, go back to the new Vader file, paste, it's in there, leds.txt, cool. So the, the, the new font won't work if it doesn't have the leds.txt and font config file, and those have to be done in the right way. And the easiest way to make sure they're done in the right way is to, so for example, I'm taking Darth Vader, a dark side font with a red blade, um, the new font, and so what I did is go into my uh, uh, existing fonts and find a font that has a similar setup with my desired setup. So another Vader font or the Dooku font, a dark side font would have done well. Um, so now that that's all done, we should be really ready to fire up the saber and see if it uh, all works and hear the new font. So what I'll do is exit out of this, eject my CFX drive, Zoom out here. So I'm gonna unplug the drive, pop the SD card out, grab my saber. Okay, so SD card is back inside the saber. Um, Pommel cap's back on, that's optional. Find the new font. Sound bank selection. Kylo Ren and Sala. I've been waiting for this audio player. Give yourself to the dark side. All right, that sounds like our. Don't make me destroy you. That's our new font. So it's just at the very end of all my fonts, and here we go. New Darth Vader font successfully added to the saber. Kind of hard to swing with the saber here, but. Sounds pretty good to me. I'll do a full review of the font um, on another video, but 
that is how you add a new sound font to your lightsaber outfitted with the Crystal Focus 10 soundboard. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it taught you something, you learned something. If you liked it, go ahead and like the video. Comment below your thoughts. If you like the channel, feel free to subscribe. Um, I hope to do more videos in the future. I have a new Sabre coming from Sabre Trio, so as soon as I get that, I'll be doing a new video. Alrighty. May the force be with everybody.